Hi, welcome to Smart Home Sunday. I am tinkering with Home Assistant once again, and I said in the last couple of weeks, I'm gonna start with devices. Here I have a Philips Hue Smart Globe. Now, if you have the Philips Hue system at home, you will definitely be running the Philips Hue app. And it's great. You could turn your light on. In particular though, what's quite fun is you can change the scenes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that's lovely. Now, scenes in Home Assistant actually mean something else. But what I wanna show you today is how from Home Assistant, you can activate Philips Hue scenes for your light globes. I'm gonna show you the easy way to do it. And I'll show you a couple of little tricks that actually avoid some problems for you along the way. So let's get started. Now, first of all, I have here control of the light switch. I can change the color and the brightness and the temperature. But you'll notice that there's no possibility for me to be able to select a scene. So rather than create a scene in Home Assistant, I'm gonna configure the scene in the Philips Hue app, and then we'll just trigger it from Home Assistant. I have a couple here I've already done. So I've created scripts. So I have two scripts here. Office bright, Ooh, that's bright. And office dimmed. Now I'm gonna set up a third scene and control it from Home Assistant. I'll show you how to do it. Inside the app, I'm inside the room, office, and here are all the scenes. Now it might appear that these scenes are the same as in every other room that you have in the app. While that's true, they're not exactly the same scene. So here's the tip I wanna share with you. When you've got the scene working exactly how you want, or it's an existing scene that you want to use, give it a new name. Down the bottom here, you can see I have Office Bright, Office Dimmed, and now I want Night Light. I'm going to edit, I'm gonna rename, and I'm simply gonna call it Office Night Light. So now when Home Assistant tells the Philips Hue system what to do, it's telling a unique scene to turn on. Now that is a good trick and tip for you. Next, in Home Assistant, this is really the easy way to set this up. On this screen here, in configuration, you can see scripts, and those are the two scripts I have. I'm gonna add a new script, and all I need to do down here is change action type to call service. The service to use is called hue.hueactivatescene, and now I'm gonna put some data in here. And I have a group name, which is office. That's just the room that you created in your Philips Hue app. And then there is scene name. And the one I want to control was called office nightlight. I'm going to save that script. And guess what? Here it is, it's called new script. And if I go to Office Bright, yep, it's still bright. Office Dimmed, mm, there it is. And there's the Office Nightlight. That's it, it's done. But let me show you under the cover. So if I go and browse to the config file, Scripts YAML, in here you can see Office dimmed, office bright, and then this weird number here. Well, that's just a random number that Home Assistant is creating to create a unique ID. I can rename it if I like. So I might call this one Office Night Light. I'll get rid of the alias. Now I'm going to save that. I'm going to go back to Home Assistant, configuration go down to server controls, always check the configuration. Yes, it worked. Now I can reload scripts. Now when I jump back into scripts, there they are. Office bright, office dimmed, office nightlight. Bright, dimmed, and nightlight. 
there it is. So if you really wanted, you could jump into the script file and just go crazy, adding all the things you want in there. But of course you can also use the user interface. That's fairly easy. The important thing to do though, is rename the, name those scenes in the Hue app, create the rooms, create the scenes, everything how you want, and then set them up in Home Assistant. I hope this was helpful. I'll be back again next week with some more tinkering with Home Assistant. Until then, take care. Bye for now. I'll see you tomorrow.